Today I'm going to show you how to use the ePubor Everand Converter so that you can take ebooks that are on your Everand account and you can transfer those to get them onto your e-reader via having them in ePub format or having them saved on your computer. You can read them with an e-reader program on your computer. Um, so I'm using an Apple MacBook Pro with uh, the Sequoia operating system. And the first step you want to do is you want to download the Android Studio that you will um, follow the instructions from the ePubor website uh, that are given. So once you have done that, then you are going to open up the emulator. And the way you're going to do that is on the home page on the Android Studio, you're going to go to More Actions and then Virtual Device Manager. And this is what will pop up here. And the emulator I've had the best luck with is the one that comes default in the, de in the device manager, the Pixel underscore 3A. Um, and once you start that, I've already done it to kind of cut down on the loading time. So once you have already uh, done that, you'll, it'll um, open up your, kind of looks like a little Android phone here, a little Google Pixel. And you will add the Everand app to the emulator that's on there. And you will add the Everand app with the, um, and log in via your login. And once you have done that, once you're logged in, you can see the ones that you've already saved in your account and you can download them to this emulated device. Um, so I'll sh kind of show you all what that looks like. So this was a book that I had been, um, I had earmarked for a while to read on my TBR. And you know, you'll download the book to this emulator of the app that you have. And takes a few minutes to download, um, especially with me doing the video here, but not too long. And uh, once you've downloaded it, so now that book, What Lies in the Woods, is saved onto this Android emulator that I have opened up on my computer. Once you have done that, you will open up the Everand Converter, um, the Everand Converter program, and once you've Put in your license and all those types of things. Um, if you hit refresh, it should read the ebooks that you have downloaded on that virtual device. So there we go. You can see what lies in the woods. It took two refreshes there, probably just the time delay. Um, moving kind of quickly here, making the video. So once you've done that, you will drag that over and drop it. And you will. Um, you can see here it has the output path, so I'll show you that in just a second of where it's going to put the ebooks where I have it set to go. So I'm going to start the conversion, and almost instantly it converts that ebook to an EPUB format, and then uh, I can open up that output path, and you can see all the different books I've gotten, and there is the one that I just did. And you can see it, I could add it to my Apple ebooks uh, library. Um, you also can just take that file that is in your um, folder and then send it to Kindle. That's what I normally do. I normally send it to Kindle uh, and read on my Kindle Paperwhite. Um, but it's really easy once you get it set up. The hard part is um, the getting the Android emulator kind of set up and the instructions on the website for the Everend Converter do a really great job of walking you through that. So... Hopefully that helps in kind of seeing that. The biggest thing I found was on that device manager. The best way to uh, do that is through the more, um, the one that comes default on the computer. That was where I had the best luck.